everybody, and welcome to the start of our show. And right now we have an actor. He's Rob Slocum. Hello, Rob. How you doing, Steve? Thanks for having me. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming on our show. And the great thing is, a lot of the things we featured on our program, like independent films, theater projects, you've been a part of them. Been a part of many of them. Now, yes. there was uh, there was John DePew's film, CO2. You were in that? Yes, just premiered a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And there was uh, The Visionary by Ben Prue. Still in uh, finishing stages. And, of course, FishnetNetworks.net, the play with Juliet Bowler. You were in that. That's right. Live show out of the theater district in Boston. And finally... You're on the Steve Katzo Show. It's about time. It's about time. Thank you for having us. No, it's, it's great. Actually, we, we did do a feature a few weeks back about CO2 and the red carpet mm -hmm. premiere, and that's where we were able to see you on a show. You did an interview with, uh, with Mick Greenwood and Jenny Z. That's right. And uh, you have a new project coming out, though. You're going to be hosting a, a music show, right? Yeah, it's a TV show, um, and it's based in an access world, as they say. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be the host of the show. And what we'll be doing is looking at uh, the behind the things thing behind the scene things of, of music, it's more like, mm -hmm. rather than just one genre of the music, it's gonna be more like, uh, what happens once you get signed by an agent? Or wh what's your first day in a studio like, you know, no, someone who's never been in a music studio? Mm -hmm. Or maybe, um, what's it like to be one piece of a 300 piece orchestra? So it's every genre of the music, but it's all different parts and segments, different instruments and different things behind the scenes. So it's not like a, a late night show like this program then? No, it's not gonna be a real good show, no. <laughs> no. no. I'm sure it'll be good. What's the name of the program? The program is called Play On, and we actually have um, the music from the Raspberries back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. We're using one of his actual hits that he did called Play On, and uh, it's, it's quite exciting. It's mm -hmm. quite exciting. Is this the first time you're hosting a show? This is my first time hosting a show that anyone will be able to see. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it that well, way. If well, uh, if you need any pointers, you can always call me up, and I'll try to steal your job. Yeah, well, <laughs> I might try that. I don't... Now, the, the, you guys are trying to get it on bigger than access, kind of like us, where we reach out to a lot of other stations, including professional stations. You guys are going to try to get it on something like my TV, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Try to expand. And, and they've gotten commitments from many southern New Hampshire, southern Maine, and, and northern Massachusetts stations already. Mm -hmm. And as we produce the first few shows, we'll put it out there, and hopefully it will multiply and you know not go mm -hmm. the other way. Now let me ask you, because we, we have a lot of actors come in and we ask them about the scene in New England, and you're doing film and theater. Uh, how is it here in New England? A lot of people say, go to New York, go to California. How can you survive here in this market? Well, it's tough to survive if you don't have another form of income or somebody else helping you on that end of the arena. But mm -hmm. there is a lot of work locally, so you can really hone your craft. You can get into many different areas and aspects. If you're going to work in New York or L.A., you're going to need to have an agent to do that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, you can put all the, the hard work in here for a year or two or more and have a body of work to show a potential agent mm -hmm. and hopefully get signed and well, the sky's the limit from there, right? Well, good luck with the show, but you also are doing some other things. Aren't you doing an independent film? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a couple independent films. It's kind of like a, an actor like myself, and I'm sure other actors that listen to this in the area know that you're always have you're always looking for your next project, working on a couple of projects, and you know, always melding to, to what's available out there. You're always doing as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, do you have a website, or can people read about you online somewhere? You can always find me through bostoncasting.com, backslash R. Slocum. You can come to me, and as always, if you Google Rob Slocum, you'll mm -hmm. find a way to find some of my material. All right. Hey, thanks for coming down, and we're glad that you take a part in all these independent things that we feature on the Steve Katzel Show, because we love independent film, theater, and television. Folks, Rob Slocum. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, sir. All right. Really appreciate we'll be right back, right after this.